Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about inverse functions. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about inverse functions and don't mind the little green squiggly line. I couldn't take it all so that's just how it's going to come up. Anyway, so first we're going to be talking about inverses that we've seen. So things that we've dealt with before that we know are inverses. So for example, we know that when we have addition, its inverse will be subtraction. So I'm just going to write plus and a negative. Those are inverses. Um, let's say if I'm multiplying, and I'm going to put an x for this one, uh, its inverse is division. That's why when you try to get rid of something, when you're multiplying, you're going to divide. Um, another one is maybe when you have like an x square, the inverse of a square is the square root. So we can do that. So these are all inverses. And what happens, what happens when you use them? Well, they kind of undo each other. So they undo each other. Whoopsie. Okay, so that's usually what happens when you have inverses. Um, sometimes you'll get the same number out or things like that. Uh, for example, let's focus on those two functions. So we have f of x equals 3x plus 7 divided by 2 and g of x equals 2x minus 7 divided by 3. Now, just looking at these and not even knowing anything about inverses and just focusing on what we said, what we've seen before, we could tell that these are inverses because look at what's happening. In the first scenario, the 3 is being multiplied by that x. In the second scenario, the 3 is being divided and we said the multiplication and division were inverses. Remember that. In the first scenario, the 2 is being divided while in the second scenario, the two is being multiplied. Again, an inverse. It was division and multiplication. In the first scenario, I'm adding seven. In the second scenario, I'm subtracting seven. Every operation is its inverse. So that should tell you, hey, those must be inverses. But something that we can do to check, or actually just notice is, well, let me plug in a number and I'm actually gonna give you these. So let's say we're going to try to find f of 5. So remember looking back when we spoke about the function notation and how to use them? This is your input. So every time I see an x in that function, I'm going to be putting, a, putting in a 5. So the way I do it is I think about it. I'm going to put everything there and I'm just going to put a parenthesis where that x was. And then I'm just going to fill it in. So in this case, it was a 5, so I'm going to put in a 5. All right. And then when you do that, you get 22 at the top divided by 2, and you get that to 11. Now, inverses kind of flip everything. So here's something that we're going to generalize with this. Let's try to plug in. Uh, let's plug in 11, which was the output of this one. Let's try to plug, plug in 11 into that g of x and see what happens. So if we plug in 11, then you get 2, again, I'm going to just put the parenthesis there, minus a 7 divided by 3. So then I'm going to put the red one, and I'm going to be inputting the 11. Please, please, it's okay to put that parenthesis in there. It helps a lot. Okay, so then we're gonna get 15, oh, whoops, let me change that to black. Okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna get 15 at the top, divided by three, and we're gonna get an answer of five. So look at what happened. My input on this one was the output of the other one. And my output here, was the input of f. 
So see how everything flips? So here's a little note. Or maybe that we can say, this was actually right, that note. So inputs are your X values, outputs are your Y values. So what happened here was your X and your Y values flipped. So we're gonna say X and Y values flip. And let me just like maybe put a box around it. You can color it just to make sure that you know they flip. So whatever the X was is not gonna be a Y value and whatever the Y value was is not gonna be an X value when we're dealing with inverses. Okay. All right. Okay, 